A double murder over an eviction. That is what a family member says was the motive behind the killing of a married couple. And the victims are a beloved Lacey chiropractor and her husband. Court documents Fox 13 News obtained today seem to only confirm the suspicion that the suspect, Timothy Burke, appeared in Thurston County Court. He faces murder charges for the deaths of DeVito and Karen Kep. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janabelle live outside the courtroom. And A.J. investigators say Burke tried to hide this crime? Well, family and friends were planning a search party for Karen Kep and her husband, DeVito. Documents allege that Timothy Burke was doing everything he could to get away with the murders. 45-year-old Timothy Burke appearing in court via a TV screen for his hearing Monday. Inside the courtroom, family and friends of the victim. The prosecution asking the judge to keep Burke in jail with no bail due to the violent nature of the crimes he's accused of committing. Documents I obtained say a worried co-worker of Lacey chiropractor Karen Kep called police about a week ago. But according to investigators, Timothy Burke shot and killed the married couple days before deputies arrived at their home for the welfare check. Documents go on to say inside Karen and DeVito's home, deputies found bullet holes in the wall and pools of blood with obvious signs someone tried to clean up the crime scene. Investigators also saw evidence the bodies were dragged into the garage and Karen's car was missing. Police linked Burke to the murders because a surveillance camera captured video of him using DeVito's debit card, according to court documents. Investigators say they also found a gun on Burke that, after crime scene testing, matched the bullets used in the murder. When police went to arrest Burke for the murders, they said he was hiding off the side of a trail. Fox 13 News spoke to Karen's sister, who told us she suspected Burke. I just hope that, you know, all of it has been resolved. Like, I just still keep thinking, gosh, is there more to this that, that we don't know about? Um, I hope Tim Burke was the only one involved, and I have no reason to believe otherwise, just an, other than a gut feeling. Um, that makes me uncomfortable. Investigators found a partially completed eviction notice written by DeVito for Burke, but it does not say exactly why he was being evicted. Burke's attorney claimed he has no previous violent crime history and should not be held in jail, but the judge disagreed. And I am going to order Mr. Burke held without bail. The court is concerned. Burke is not officially charged. We're naming him due to the violent nature of this crime as well as his connection to the victims. Officials with the prosecutor's office tell me they have until Wednesday to file charges. They tell me despite the holiday week, they will get those charges in. You can count on continued coverage. Reporting here in Olympia, I'm A.J. Janivel for Fox 13 News.